Hey guys, so this is going to be my rolling five pan update for you. Um, obviously, if you watch my channel, you know things are looking a little empty. I am um, in the process of moving, so yeah, I will um, try to make sure I'm uploading semi-regularly, but um, be patient, I am moving to a different state, moving back to Minneapolis, so yeah, that's what's happening in my future. Um, I have three weeks left, well, two and a half weeks left, including finals, so mm, crazy. Okay, anyway, um, I, so if it's echoey, that's why, because I moved all this furniture already and stuff. Okay, so I have an update for you. The first one I'm going to go ahead and just start with, I was going to work on the Bite um, Matte Cafe Lip Pencil. It was like a half size. I literally filmed that video, wore it that night, lost it. I have no idea where it is. I'm still hopeful I will find it, you know, with moving and stuff. Um, no idea where it is, though. So I put in a different lip color, and this is the Buxom, um, hold on here, full-on lipstick, and this is the shade Amsterdam. It's what I, Amsterdam. I have it on my lips today. I absolutely love it. This is such a nice formula. I like that it's in a crayon form because you can, you know, line and then fill. Um, so this is what I have left, and I did mark it on my notebook. And then the other thing that's nice about these is that there's a sharpener on the bottom so you can make it more precise. I just really like this. I definitely will repurchase it once I'm done with it. I It's like my perfect everyday color for me. So that's what we're going to start with. Um, hold on, hold on. It's bright there. Okay, so this is the line here so that's how much product i have but i feel like because um it's such a skinny pencil it won't take too long to you know go through so yeah this is going to be my spring lip color super excited about it okay the next one i have is the makeup geek nude eyeliner it's getting shorter um so yeah i did just sharpen it today actually and then i did use it um but i'm making good progress here so that one is right here so this is the progress I had. So I feel like it's pretty good. Um, I'm happy with it. So yeah, this is all I have left on this one. I use it in my waterline every day. Love it. Really, really nice pencil. If you haven't tried one of the Makeup Geek eyeliners and you're making an order, I definitely would recommend them. And I'm pretty sure she has a wide variety of colors. So yeah. Okay. The next thing I have is my primer, and this is from the Body Shop. It's the Tea Tree Pore Minimizer. This is like a longtime favorite of mine. Um, so I started here last time, and now I'm down here. So I'm making good progress. I really like this primer. I've talked about it a million times, but I highly recommend. So there's that one. And then I have two powders. So the first one is my face powder that I use all over, and it is the Tarte Smooth Operator. This is the pressed version. I usually get the loose version. Um, but I accidentally bought this one and it's the same powder so I'm going to use it. Um, but the loose version you do get more product and it's the same price so, you know. Anyway, this is where I'm at. Last time I don't think I had pan. Um, maybe I had a little bit of pan, I can't remember. But um, this is where I'm at now. So a lot of pan, I'm almost done with it. Um, I should probably finish this up before the next update I'm sure. Um, yeah, so this is where I'm at. I will be, um, right now is the Ulta 20% off sale, and this is in my cart. I will be purchasing a new one, but in the loose version, of course. Um, but yeah, I am making good way, or headway on that one. And then the last one I have is my e.l.f. HD Under Eye Setting Powder, and I do like this, um, and I'm making good progress here. So I was at this longer line, and now I'm at this bottom line if I, you know, tap it all down. So making good progress there, really happy with it. I don't know if I'd actually repurchase it. I think it's nice, but I think I might just try using this as my under eye setting powder too. I'm not sure if I actually need, like, two separate powders, you know what I mean? So anyway, these are the five products I am working on. I am really excited. I feel like I'm making good progress. So I think by next time, I'll definitely have this powder done. Um, and then I'll add in something new. So that's all I have. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, let me know down below what you are focusing on this month. I'd love to hear. All right, that's all. Bye, guys.